Hi hey everyone. Uh, I have chicken, beans, mashed potatoes. Hope you can see them. Let me see. Yeah, let's put chicken under it. Oh, now y'all can see them. I don't know what that was. Fly. Now yeah, they have too much salt. I don't really eat that much food, but just wanted to make a little video. The skin's not for me. It's for my puppies. I fell off of another chicken, so I got it for my puppies. How's everybody doing? How's your morning, your noon, your night, whatever it is that you're looking at this, the time that you're looking at this? I hope you're having an awesome one. Which one, baby? That thing there, none? Oh, that is mean. Piece of bread. Oh, I had them pizza right there. The little bagels. Because they're spoiled. They don't get the dog food. Only once in a while. Yes, I know. There's another one up there if you want it. I'm alright. I felt like today was never going to end. It just felt like it was dragging on all day long. It's weird how some days that time will go by fast, time will go by slow. The day that you want to get out early, or not early, but like you're ready to get out, and the time goes slow. It's crazy. Oh, really? Get him from dad and mom? Come here, fatty. You fit under there? What? You squished under there. No bones. Don't really have a story time today. Just gotta make a video and I was making food, so why not make a video? See the steam? I just barely took it out of the oven.
put a lot of pepper in here. Make some dark. Instead of being white. Can y'all see that? It has a lot of pepper in it. One thing about me, I love pepper. So, husband's going to work. Working nights now. So I guess it's me all alone. Movies. Not scary ones. Just regular ones. You know, it was young, when we were younger, I do have something to say. When we were younger, we, we went with my brother one time, me and my sister. They were going to go swim in a swimming pool. It was that night. And um, we um, we went with them. He had a little pickup uh, pick truck. And um, he, he let us drive it. So, instead of driving like all over town or whatever, because it's a little town, we were driving all over, we were driving just in a block. And uh, we were getting a kick out of, we will go around the block, and on this one street, they had like a little hump. And uh, anyways, we would go, and when we were coming up to that little hump, we would drive faster just so we can go up, like, make us ourselves jump in the truck. <coughs> it's so funny. That, I mean, we got a kicked out of, kick out of doing just that. It's like, we didn't have, we didn't have to have beer or, or, um, you know, anything, drugs or anything. I mean, we weren't like that when we were kids. All, if, we had something to do. That's all we needed. We didn't have to have money. We didn't have to have anything. We just go hang out with friends and, you know, we just search. search. Um, we just go hang out with our friends and we just come up with something to do. And when my brother went uh, swimming with his friends, uh, he told us, just don't go no, nowhere far and just stay around here. We're like, okay. So we just went around the block. That's it. We didn't want to get in trouble. It was funny back in the day that we used to do stuff like that. Yeah, I was in junior high. Eighth grade, ninth grade, something like that. And they trusted us. Do you want the other one? He trusted us to doing that, to driving his truck. Oh, a lot of stuff. My brother used to have like an orange, I think it was a firebird or something. Um, um, he had speakers in there. He had like an equalizer. And uh, I would always ask him, let me borrow the car. I'm just going to go around the block. Or I'm just going to go to the base run and come back. And, or if I tell him, I'm going to go to the store. I'm just going to go to the store and I'll come right back. And uh, going to the store meant going all the way around town. Leaving from the house, going all the way around town, up to the bayfront, all the way into town, then to the store. And then leaving the store, going all the way back around town. And mind you, you're going slow. 
all the way back into town and then back home. And they're like, where were you? Went to the store. You said I can use a car to go to the store. It took you that long? Well, back then, they didn't know what we were doing, so we had to explain what we do. So, I told them, well, going to the store means going all the way around town and coming back home. And um, my brother was like, I guess, I guess, sister. So, every time that we would ask to pumpkin every time we would ask to borrow the car they'd be like are you going to go around town or are you just going to go to the store and since they already caught on you know to what we do is like we're going to go around town then we'll be back after the store and they're like all right or if they were going somewhere you know we couldn't do that so we would we would only do that whenever we could Borrow the car and then come back, go and come back. Have you ever been like, like it feels like an awkward situation? Like, you don't talk to anybody, you don't, you don't say nothing. It's like, you're coming, they're going, no talking. I hate that. I really do. It's really annoying. You know that somebody has an attitude or isn't talking to you or isn't saying anything. Like, dude, what's wrong? Like, are you having a problem? Bless you. Are you having issues? I mean, talk to me. I hate it whenever you're just quiet and you don't say nothing to nobody and it just makes it awkward, more awkward. And it's like, okay, so what's going on? I don't know. Just a crazy situation. I know some of y'all have had them situations. With the loved one, with the boyfriend, with the husband, with family members, and somebody. I know y'all have been in that situation and let me know in the comments what do y'all do what what do y'all talk to each other do y'all say anything how do how does that blow over to me when somebody's like that with me it makes me feel like crap like okay did I do something to make you mad to make you feel like that why are you acting like that is it me you know or sometimes I won't even say nothing and I'll just sit there and act like okay everything's fine but yet how do you know for sure if it's fine or not how do you know that everything's okay? How do you know that it's not about you? How do you know it's about somebody else? How how do you know that kind of stuff? And the only way is is to ask. But yet, if you ask, sometimes it makes it. A situation that isn't a situation makes it into a situation and makes it worse because you're claiming that you're or you're thinking that it's about you 
in which it might not be. I mean, it don't hurt to ask, but yet. Why be in the dark about things? Why be in the dark and thinking that you did something wrong and you probably didn't even do anything? It's just, they're just mad at something else. I just hate that. I hate those kind of situations. Excuse me. Me and my husband sat down at the same time. Well, he sat down a little after me. He already finished his food. So you can tell he eats fast. I eat slow. I take my time. I'm a bird. Okay, stop pushing people away. Oh, yeah. Anyways, got a little deep there. My bad. Sorry. Wasn't trying to do that. Just when you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I hate when somebody's upset. Because you don't know if you should... Or what's that saying? You don't, you don't know if you're coming or going. You don't know if you should t act, tell them anything or if you shouldn't. Or, you know, one or the other. Nugget. Nugget. Scared me, dude. I didn't know where you were at. He was sitting on the chair. I didn't even know where he was at. This little nugget. Yes, that little nugget. Come here, B. B is Beagle. G is Gandalf. P is Pumpkin. <coughs> And Xerxes is Xerxes because I don't have no. Well, I say Z, but it's an X for his name. But I always say Z. She sounds like a little piggy. Oh my goodness. Anyways, so have y'all ever been in a situation like that? Let me know in the comments, like, what y'all did or how did y'all. Um, fix it or I don't know how to how, what the word is or how did y'all work on it or take care of it or how did y'all make it better I mean where everything felt good I mean did, did y'all just act like nothing's wrong and then just went on about your day or did y'all just y'all talk about it or let me know in the comments what what you know y'all did i mean i would like to know i would like to know what y'all would do Anyways, I know this is a short video. Um, I really didn't eat the sides. I like the chicken a lot better. Um, as long as I got meat inside me, that, I mean, that's a good thing. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and close out this video. So I hope y'all, whenever you are watching this, if it's in the morning, the noon, the night, whenever it is, I hope you are having an awesome one. And as y'all already know, thumbs up this video if you haven't already and um, subscribe to my channel share my channel 
um, share share everywhere um, comment down below let me know how you're doing let me know what you know let me know about what I was asking about, about a while ago um, yeah so I guess until the next video um, if y'all want me to eat something different you know just let me know um, but Maybe I'll do a car mukbang. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. But anyways. Um, anyway, so I hope you are having a good one. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Don't let anybody bring you down. And until the next video. Bye.